Also, it. and this is just an FYI, it's a PSA. Mm -hmm. Yo, if I'm pulling in a half a million dollars and you got 38,000 on the book, king. <laughs> <laughs> so one of my biggest struggles is that I've always worked harder. I've been the breadwinner or I've been more stable or, and they've been great people and they maybe have ambition. I don't know if you can have the J and B relationship where both of y'all are super busy and you make time for each other. Like someone's got to be the more submissive or the one that's going to sacrifice. But I think that if you can, within a relationship, be able to identify the role to your point that a woman does play with like, and that has value equivalent to monetary value of being able to maintain a home, raise children. It's know? like, just cause you have money doesn't make you a leader. So it's like, let's just be realistic. I also see relationships that work where, you know, the, the, the roles have reversed, meaning like the woman is the breadwinner. I don't think that that means the expectations in terms of like, I still expect protection from you. Do you have a type and a guy? I would love to be someone's partner, not someone's mother, if they don't come from my yeah ovaries yeah. you know yeah. i'm not on dating apps because i like the idea of someone having the courage enough to approach me in person it's the reason why when i do start like seeing somebody i tend to not go on their instagram and stuff like that i don't really want to know you through what you post have you found yourself in those situations in your career where you had to kind of choose or maybe that pressure of choosing between either your integrity or your dean or or in your career yeah well to jump right into this icebreaker game it's called which would you rather i'll give you two options and you just tell me which one you'd rather okay be, be stuck in an elevator with your soulmate or your crush your celebrity crush by the way be stuck in the elevator with my soulmate Period. Who's your celebrity crush, though? Oh, uh, um, Chris Brown. Chris Brown. You're like, Chris okay, Brown. okay. <laughs> you, Chris, you, but I've okay. had another celebrity crush, but now he's like, I know him. So it's you, just like, <laughs> you know, so. What is he? Can we know who he was? No. Okay. Oh, no, no, Because now I know him. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Live on a deserted island with your family and never see your never meet your soulmate or with your soulmate and never see your family. Deserted island can't get off the island. You got to pick one. Hey, my loves, I'm here to talk about something very near and dear to my heart, which is representations of Muslims in television and movies. We definitely need more of it. And that's why I'm here, because Muslim's Guide to Marriage is out right now. It's definitely so hysterical. You need to go on their Instagram, check out that trailer, watch that movie, get those tickets and watch that movie and support more Muslim people in movies okay especially people of color and look at this look at the merch can we talk about how amazing this t-shirt is it's so powerful i feel like it says everything i wanted to say um i'm gonna show you guys the trailer right now so you can check it out and enjoy go see it it's always been muslima and musa You cannot hide this divorce forever, Muslima. As soon as you're a diazo, Candace is converting to Islam before we get married. As long as I can keep Christmas. Absolutely. Ooh, there we go. The scrolls of Epiphany is the litany of the lessons that I have. Salam 5150. Look at Miss Orange is the new black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. sure the whole master knows by now. Thanks, Kareem. What? You think she told somebody? So you know Khadija's running around telling everybody that Musa divorced you, and Kareem had to bail you out of jail with your diary money. <laughs> that's, um, that's ridiculous. Have you talked to Musa? Yesterday we had, um, dinner together. <laughs> together. Well, that's a start. Now I see that Musa finally let you put some of your things up. And he's coming around. 
Have you read the Hadith where it states that hell is filled with mostly women? Excuse me? You can snatch a people in front of the badge. You didn't even have my badge. I have on a dress. You said so yourself. Hey, tell me how you seen her. Muslims don't do drugs. I'm looking for a blood lever, a blood sleeper. Well, all right now. Well, all right now. We have seven days, 14 hours, 36 minutes, and 22 seconds before Allah wants us to reconcile. Not going to happen. Well, then you need to come on down to Booty Camp, but we will make your... Oh, <laughs> look at you. You're like a regular, like a, like a rapper. You went to jail, you might as well drop a mixtape or something. I'm a Muslim. Peace. The trailer that you just saw that I posted is to a new movie, Muslim's Guide to Marriage. I mean, the movie is super amazing. It touches on the whole aspects of like the ups and downs of marriage, plus the rewards of it as well. Go ahead and swipe up now to get your ticket to see this virtual film. And when you screenshot your confirmation receipt, go ahead and DM it to Muslim's Guide to Marriage and you'll get a free merch too. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I'm a creature of habit, I would probably say deserted island with my family because I know all the stuff that they bring. You know, soulmate sounds like just because somebody is your soulmate, I don't know. Okay, so okay, okay, okay. Does soulmate mean that they're perfect? Like y'all get along? Cause I feel like you have soulmates, but that doesn't and the you thing don't is, end up in relationships with your soulmate. And that's the thing is that it always is up to interpretation because I believe that you can have a soulmate that's your best friend. I have a best friend who is totally my soulmate. So maybe it's that, but I think for this specifically, it would be romantic. It would be someone that you're married. I would hope that you marry someone who's your soulmate, even if they're not perfect, you know? Yeah. Okay. So if it's my soulmate in, in, in the way that I idealize my soulmate, then I would choose my soulmate. Mm. Okay. I kind of yeah. like family as well, though, just because it's true. Like, you know your family. You know what to expect. Yeah, you, you know what you're going to get. The soulmate, you know, y'all probably going to start, you know, having sex. Y'all probably will have kids. And then who knows how y'all going to raise a kid on a deserted island. I'm just and then saying, you start you know, your and then you start your family anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Unemotional protector or someone who can't fight but is vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who, <laughs> someone who can't fight but is vulnerable. Um, because the thing that I can do is I can make sure that we are never in a situation where he has to fight. But oh. I, I need him to be vulnerable. That's important. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Dream career job or dream wedding? Dream career job. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, was that too easy? <laughs> <laughs> we see which is more. Uh, we get it. We get it. <laughs> We're focused out here. Okay. Discover a new planet or invent a cure for a deadly disease. Invent a cure for a deadly disease. But what if the invention of the cure is on that undiscovered planet? Mm. You see, you see, you see how my mind works? Do you see how my mind works? It's options. We have to, we have to be optimistic. We have to analyze. We get it. <laughs> um, I would, I would definitely want to cure, like, you know, create the cure for a deadly disease. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Go back in time and still have all the knowledge you have today or know the future from today. Look, Moses is like, what would I choose? <laughs> mm. Oh, Moses, you haven't played this game. I'm just, I'm, I'm in my head. I'm playing it as well. <laughs> um, oh, that's the toughest one. Because everybody wants the cheat code to a test. But. Right. There's a, book, there's a book that reminds me of that question. It's called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Love the mm -hmm. power of mm -hmm. now. But just thinking about how, you know, we, he, was, he talks about how we become defined by our past, the which past. is things we can't change. The and then we get fixated on the future, which is things that are interchangeable by things we do in the present, in the now. Mm -hmm. yes. And so that, that's very introspective, that question. And you know what? <clears throat> Back to the future me. Give me, give me the, give me the, give me the, give me the Atlas. I'm, I'm Biff. Negro, okay. whatever there you go. Would you rather marry an American or a foreigner? <laughs> um, I don't, I don't. Have you ever, have you ever met or maybe had interest in someone who wasn't so Americanized or maybe someone who came from another country? Yeah. The last person I dated was not American. Okay. Did At you all. find a difference? Yeah. Was there a difference? I've I've also talked to a North North African, and it was 
very different experience. Someone who's from a Muslim country, grew up in a Muslim country, very different from the guys here. And I Same actually here. It. Mm. So I didn't, I felt very, but this may have been very specific to this guy, but he was from West Africa, Muslim country, but, but very judgmental. Okay. And I did not like that. Mm. I did not like that at all. Wow. Yeah. So, That's interesting. I'm married to a black know. British and uh, I, I've seen no difference. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I mean, I guess some of the questions will reveal, I'm probably will always deal with the, the, the demon that I know. Does that make sense? Mm. Okay. So I, I think I choose an American. Mm. I know what I'm getting with America. <laughs> hot and broke or rich and not so hot. Rich and not so hot. <laughs> travel, for, travel for work or a stay at home husband. Travel for work. All right. Okay. Look, you like now I have to put the you putting things in perspective today. These might be the first <laughs> times you ever asked your question, these questions. Okay. <laughs> Today's So Chill sponsor is Stay Covered. Stay Covered is your one-stop shop for your favorite ways to stay easy, breezy, beautiful, and covered. From covered dresses, burkinis for swimming, and even Muslima accessories, Stay Covered and Nikah and Chill has got you covered. Because when you use code Nikah and Chill, you'll get 25% off. Make sure to follow Stay Covered on social media now at S-T-A-E underscore covered and shop underscore S-T-A-E covered. For more ways to chill, subscribe to Nikah and Chill everywhere and help us support small and Muslim businesses alike. Just